Holyland has just released their first wireless microphone system, the LAT150. The price of this wireless microphone is $330, which is quite a bit more expensive than other similar products in the market. So does it actually worth the extra price? Let's find out in this video. Kia ora, good morning everyone, Rich Wong here. Welcome back to the channel. Holyland has released quite a few different wireless video transmitters and I have reviewed quite a few of them on this channel. They are all pretty solid products with very reasonable price. So when Holyland contacted me a couple of weeks ago and told me that they are about to release their first wireless microphone system, I was pretty excited about it because I really want to see what is this wireless microphone system from Holyland is going to be look like. So we have the LAT150 here and I have been using it for a while. So in this video, I'm going to go through some of the features and also share with you some of my experience and thoughts about this wireless microphone system from Holyland. If you have watched some of my previous Holyland reviews, you may remember I said I really think Holyland should include a case with their video transmitters. This time with the LAT150, it does come with a case as well. So there's a very nice case that comes with the LAT150 and it is not just a simple case because it is also a charging case as well, just like a lot of the wireless earphone. Inside the case, you will find the receiver and also the two transmitters. If you leave them inside the case, then they will be charged by the case either using the built-in battery or you can connect the case using the USB-C connector to a USB power supply and then you can charge both the case and also the transmitter and the receivers inside it. As soon as you open the case and take the transmitter out from the case, the transmitter and the receiver will automatically pair with each other. The pairing speed is also pretty fast, it usually takes less than 5 seconds. There is a pretty nice color display on the receiver which display all the important information pretty clearly. There are two dials on the receiver as well for you to adjust the input from each of the transmitter. So you can adjust the volume of each transmitter individually and you can also mute the input from each of the transmitter from the receiver but you can also mute the input from each of the transmitter itself which I think is a very nice design. There are three different audio recording options that you can choose with this LAT150. The first one is the stereo mode. What it means is each of the microphone input will be recorded on each of the tracks separately. So that means when you are post-processing, you can adjust the volume for each of the tracks separately or you can mute each of the inputs separately if that's what you want to do. Or you can set it to mono mode, which means the audio from the two transmitters will be mixed together and saved as a mono output. So this is most suitable for people who don't want to do any post-processing. And the last recording option is called the safety track mode. This is very similar to the mono mode where the two audio input are mixed together as a mono output, but one of the output channel is recorded at a slightly lower volume at minus 6 dB. So if you find the record audio is a little bit too loud and it clipped, you can then use the secondary output channel to recover your clipped audio. The transmitter has a built-in microphone, which is what I'm using to record audio so far in this video. But if you want, you can also plug in a lapel mic. There are two lapel mic that comes with each set of the LAT150. Actually, let me switch over to use the lapel mic to record the rest of this video now. Okay, now I have just switched over and used the external lapel mic to record audio. The size of this transmitter is very small. It is really, really compact. Even compared to the single G1 wireless microphone which I reviewed recently, which is already very small, but if you put them side by side, you can see that the LAT150 is quite a bit smaller than the single G1. So yeah, it is a very, very tiny transmitter. 
Overall, there is really not much that I can complain about the design of this Lot 150. The build quality of the transmitter is a little bit plasticky, especially if you compare to the Holyland video transmitter. Usually, they have very solid metal construction. This one definitely is a bit plasticky, but it is pretty understandable because I believe Holyland would want to keep the weight of this transmitter as light as possible. So using more plastic construction, I think is not too bad at all. The only thing that I want to complain a little bit is about the case. The case, it has a little area here which allow you to put some accessory inside here, but that area is not big enough. It only is big enough for you to put the cable to connect the receiver. If you want to put the lapel mic, the two lapel mic that is supplied together with this Lot 50, you can't put it inside the case. So that means is if you want to carry it with the lapel mic, somehow you have to carry them separately, which kind of defeating the purpose of having a case. But other than that, everything is very nicely designed and it's very easy to see that Holyland definitely spent quite a bit of effort when they are designing this LART 150. In terms of audio quality, you guys have been listening to the audio captured using the LART 150, using both the building mic and also the supplied lapel mic. So you guys should have a pretty good idea what is the audio quality is like. If you ask me, I think the audio captured by this LART 150 is excellent. Even using the building microphone, I think the audio quality is not bad at all. And when I switch over to the lapel mic, the audio quality capture is even better. The noise performance is also pretty good. While I can hear some noise that is captured by this LART 150, but if I compare to the other wireless microphone I have used in the past, this LART 150, the noise floor is definitely the lowest compared to the other wireless microphones. Okay, now let's go out and do a bit of outdoor audio test with this LART 150 as well. Okay, now we are at outdoor testing out the LART 150's audio quality and just see how does it perform when we are filming outdoor. Right now, I am just using the building microphone with the wind muff, the provided wind muff attached on it. Uh, it's quite a windy day. You may see the trees in the background. It moves quite a bit. So it'll be interesting to hear whether it capture uh, a lot of wind noise or not in this video. So right now, I'm standing quite close to the camera. I'm only like about half a meter or so in front of the camera. So let me move back a little bit, just make myself like a couple meters away from the camera and see how or if it affects the audio quality. All right, so let me move back a little bit. All right, so now I am about five meters or so away from the camera and um, yeah, just using the built-in microphone. So one good thing about this LART 150 is that you can either use the built-in microphone or use a lapel mic attached to it. So using the built-in microphone, the advantage is definitely that it is very easy setup and you don't have any wire sticking around. So basically turn on the microphone and you can just carry it onto your t-shirt or something then you can start filming. So what do you guys think about the audio quality when we are filming outdoor using this LA 150? Okay, let's head back to my home and continue the video there. Holyland said the maximum transmission range of this LA 150 is, as you can expect, 150 feet when there is a direct line of sight. I did a bit of testing and just see how does it perform in real life. The first test I did is inside this house. So I have the transmitter on me and I left the camera and the receiver in this room. So when I am walking around on this floor, the audio is transmitted pretty much perfectly to the receiver. And when I go upstairs, in most part of this house, the audio is still transmitted pretty much perfectly to the receiver. But when I start getting close to the opposite end of my house, then the audio starting to cut out quite a bit. And when I'm at the extreme opposite end of the house, then the audio is cut out pretty much completely. 
And then I went outdoor to a open space and just see how does it perform when there is a direct line of sight with nothing in between the transmitter and receiver. What I found is I can walk up to 100 meter away from the receiver and the receiver can still receive the audio reasonably well. But one thing I also noticed is once my distance from the receiver is around 40 to 50 meter, then I starting to get some occasional audio cutout. But one interesting thing is, as I walk further and further away from the receiver up to 100 meter, the amount of cutout or the frequency of cutout actually doesn't seem to increase at all. And there's one more thing I noticed when I was testing the LART 150 outdoor is, Probably because there's no wall or anything that can help bounce the signal from the transmitter to receiver. So if I turn my body around so that there's no direct line of sight between the transmitter and receiver, so that my body is actually blocking the transmitter to receiver, even if I'm only standing around 20 meters away from the receiver, as soon as I turn around, then the audio will cut out completely. So this is one thing that you definitely have to be careful when you are filming outdoor. But anyway, I think the overall transmission range, no matter I'm using indoor or outdoor, is pretty decent for a 2.4 gigahertz wireless microphone. And I think the overall performance is actually very similar to the single G1, which I have reviewed recently. In terms of the battery life, according to Holy Land, the transmitter's built-in battery can last up to 4.5 hour and the receiver which has a larger built-in battery can last up to 7.5 hour. You can also use the built-in battery of the case to recharge both the transmitter and receiver up to 2.5 times as well. So I think for most of the users, no matter you are a casual user or even some of the professional users, the battery life should be long enough. However, because the battery is not swappable and also there's no direct USB power option. So for some professional user who may want to do a very, very long filming, the battery life may not be quite long enough for you. As the first wireless microphone system from Holy Land, this LA150 is definitely very impressive. I really like the design, the features they managed to pack into this LA150, and the audio quality is also very decent. But is it worth the extra price compared to other competitors in the market? I think it really depends on what you need. If you just want to have a basic wireless microphone system which allow you to record audio wirelessly and you don't really care about most of the feature that is available on the LAT150, then I would say this LAT150 is probably not the most cost-effective microphone system for you. But on the other hand, if you don't mind paying a bit more, and you want to have the best audio quality, the best features, and also a system that is very easy to change settings, this LAT150 could be the best microphone for you.